Okay, boys uh, and girls, welcome to part two of my uh, Viridian 5XL unboxing session. Um, in my previous video, I talked uh, about the, what was in the package, etc. Uh, now we're going to actually mount this little sucker uh, on my P30L. Um, I, when I was in the States, I bought this new case for my P30L. Uh, because obviously um, the one that I have, the original one, won't fit the uh, what do you call it, the uh, gun plus the mounted uh, version. So I bought this little case. Looks really nice. Should have enough space. I kind of guesstimated it. Um, anyway, let's uh, put it on there. Uh, here's my uh, P3L. Let's do a quick check. Yeah. My uh, what is it? Dry firing uh, uh, cap in there, uh, so it should be empty. Yes, it is. Always good to save uh, to check that first. I'll just put it back in there because it won't harm. All right, mounting the Viridian X5L. Um, according to the uh, manual that I uh, read, it should be pretty uh, easy. I just uh, need to uh, slide it on there. And I hope it shows up, but there's like the Picatinny rail here. The only thing you need to do is uh, put this little, uh, what do you call it, uh, screw through the device and that should hold it. Um, and then of course there's the um, little tool to adjust the uh, windage and elevation. Um, anyway, I'm going to mount it, uh, not for the first time I'll be honest. Uh, but uh, let's pretend it is the first time. Uh, what you do is you uh, basically shove it on there and there it goes. That was easy. As you might notice it will cover up the front end of the trigger guard. There you go. Like this. Which uh, holds it uh, pretty snug also and keeps it in place. Uh, well, cool. Um, you just take the screw, put it through there, align it with this little thing here. Uh, let me do that. And I uh, noticed that uh, you don't have to apply that much force. Let's see, here we go. Is it finding the nut? No, it doesn't. There we go. Yeah, there it goes. And uh, I'll just hand tighten it because basically this little nut right here let me go yeah that's on only prevents it from sliding off that's really nice and snug guys and girls um, um, really it looks pretty darn good on my gun uh, same color no difference uh, in coloration or anything um, and once on the gun as you can see I can easily get to the uh, buttons with my finger uh, switching mode, which you do with these little buttons, of course, means that I would have to use my uh, thumb or something else. Um, of course, with this on there, you can't put your finger on the trigger guard anymore, but I found out that when holding the gun, this is pretty cool because you can actually put your finger here and do it like this, and that really actually helps you hold the gun pretty stable as well if you want to do two-handed shooting. So damn, that uh, really uh, surprises me how uh, nicely and ergonomically it actually works. Okay, one uh, last thing would be uh, taking it off. Of course you unscrew it again and just slide it off. Uh, I'm not going to do that right now. I'm going to show you something else because of course you need to zero in this sucker and uh, normally that would mean that you just go to the range, uh, turn your device on and start shooting and then using this little tool you adjust the windage and elevation um, and in the process of doing so you might you know, uh, lose a whole case of 9mm uh, ammo which by the way is about 12 euros here in Holland uh, for, 50, uh, for a box of 50 so I don't like that so I bought this little nifty thing, it's a bore sight from Sightmark 
uh, pretty cool thing, basically what it is, let me uh, get it out, it's a 9mm uh, casing with a laser in it. And the idea is, let me unscrew it for you, there's a couple of batteries here, the idea is that you, um, what do you call it, uh, put this in the uh, barrel of the gun, and, let me and there you go, as you can see it produces a red laser. Obviously when this is like in the barrel of your gun, it would perfectly show you where the bullet would hit. Of course it does not take into account the fact that you know the trajectory of a bullet isn't completely straight, but you get the idea. Uh, let me put the empty magazine in there so I can you know keep this open. And let's turn this little sucker turn on. There's no on off button. I put it right into the gun. There you go. And as you can see, that is where the bullet would strike. Now, if I turn off my laser, the idea is that, um, of course, those two will overlap. Obviously, right now, let me take it out because this thing eats up batteries. There we go. Let's turn it off. Um, as you can see, obviously, uh, the idea would be that those two uh, dots overlap and when you do that, then your uh, sight is uh, adjusted completely. So there you have it, the Viridian uh, X5L plus a lifty, nifty little 9mm bore sight. Um, I love that combination, can't wait to take it to the range um, and report back to you on how that works. Guys and girls, that concludes my Viridian X5L unboxing and mounting the whole thing. Uh, thank you for watching.